Hello, all of you beautiful people around the world. My name is Ryan, aka Blackbeard TCG, and in today's video, I got something a little special for y'all. Okay, that did not go in the middle like I wanted, but I do this all in one take, all right? We got a package. As you can see here, I just slit open the top real quick just for some quicker content for you guys. You guys don't see me struggling opening it up, but I got some singles. I got some singles. In this video, I'm going to show you guys what I picked up, why I picked it up, what my plans are for these cards. But more importantly, I need y'all help. I need you guys to help me. You guys to help me, okay? I have an event coming up this Saturday, and I want your guys' advice, so stay tuned for all of that. As you guys know, um, I went to my first local and won with Crocodile. If you guys want to see my Crocodile deck profile, please go ahead and check it out in the, the in, not the, in the description, in the top right in the card. It will be there right now. So go ahead and click that. Drop a like there as well. And I will be having a detailed write-up on my Patreon as well if you guys want to support me there. But anyways, enough about all that. Let's go ahead and talk about the cards that I picked up, the singles. So, get that ASMR. Oh, got top loader. Take a look at that. Take a look at that. So, let's go ahead and go through these cards, and I will tell you guys why I went ahead and picked them up. So, bang! Right off the bat, we will start off with two copies of Okiku. Put her right there. We picked up one copy of SR Crocodile. We also picked up Two copies of my boy, Dracchio Mihawk. We picked up one copy of Jimbei. We picked up two copies of Don Quixote, Do Flamingo. And we also picked up three copies of Boa Hancock. This is what I really wanted. And then I also picked up one Overheat. Okay. So, first and foremost, why did I pick up these cards? What are my thoughts behind it? So, if you guys see my deck profile, obviously, I'm playing three copies of Mihawk in this deck already. Um, and so, you might be saying, Ryan, why do you need five copies of Mihawk? Well, I'll tell you what. I didn't always have three copies of Mihawk. I had two copies of Mihawk. And in the third box that I opened, which you guys can find on this channel. Um, and keep in mind, I had already ordered these cards. Um, I had only had two Mihawks. And I pulled a Mihawk in that box. So I had three, and I already had two on the way. So now I have an extra one. So I'm probably going to either give this away or see if anybody wants to trade for it. I don't know. Um, this card is obviously really, really good. It's going to see play in every single blue deck in set one as well as set two. So I'm sure maybe somebody will trade me something for it now. Of course, obviously, I am hoping to get that alternate art Dracula Mihawk one day. Hopefully one day, one day I'm able to secure it. But that is why I got two. <laughs> if I knew that I was going to pull one in that box, I would have ordered one. But it's RNG, right? Opening boxes is RNG. There was no guarantee, okay? Um, we picked up one more Crocodile because I only pulled three copies of it. And I wanted a full playset. Would I play a full playset in my Crocodile deck? I don't think so. But I want it just in case. Because we never know what's going to come out in the future, right? And so I feel like I'd rather just have my hands on it right now. While it's so cheap. Blue cards are so cheap. Because I, I don't know. I guess it just has a stigma of it not being like a quote unquote good deck. But I honestly think that... Crocodile's really good. I think Doflamingo is really good. Of course, obviously, the obvious choices are Kid and Kaido and things like that. But guys, please do not sleep on Blue. But actually, keep sleeping on Blue, especially in set two. So when all the event Bangkok and Impel Down stuff come out, I want that shit to be dirt cheap so I can just buy it all up day one, okay? So forget everything that I said. Blue is garbage, okay? Don't, don't buy any of the Blue stuff. Um, I have three copies of Overheat. I wanted to get one more. Um... For me, it kind of depends. I found three overheat to kind of be the sweet spot. Um, so I'm really comfortable with that. But again, I wanted to make sure I had a playset in my collection. Um, so that's why I went ahead and picked that up. And again, it was so cheap. I went ahead and picked up a fourth Jinbei. Um, I have been playtesting with four Jinbeis. I don't think that four Jinbeis is the play, especially in set two. In set one, I can see an argument for it. Um, this card is just so damn good. I've already talked about it. I've made a video dedicated just to trigger poppers. Um, so you can go ahead and check that out. Um, but I, again, I wanted to have four copies just in case if I would play four copies because this card is good and I could see it. I could see it getting played. Um, okay, two copies of Don Quixote do Flamingo. Now hear me out on this. 
Same thing as Mihawk, right? I had to order these cards before they sold out because cards were selling out so freaking fast, okay? They were selling out so fast. So I had only opened up two boxes, and in those two boxes, I only opened up two Dofies. In that third box that you guys seen that I opened up on stream, I pulled two Dofies. So now I have a full playset. So now I actually have two to trade. <laughs> so there we go. I have two Doflamingos to trade. And then we got the three ball Hancock. Would you believe that in three boxes... In three boxes, I only pulled one Boa Hancock. Can you believe that? Absolutely ridiculous. Um, and this card was actually the most expensive. Actually, I'd say, I don't even remember. Was Boa Hancock the same price as Mihawk or more? I don't remember. But this card was like, I don't even remember how much it was. But it. But anyways, it's not even the alternate art. Um, maybe it's just because it's Boa, you know, and, you know. Hey, man, I don't want to get into it, but maybe that's why it's expensive. But the reason why I needed to pick this up is because obviously I wanted a full play set. But if you are playing Doflamingo in set one, for sure, you are going to want to have a full play set of Boa Hancock, which I did not have. And so I do now have it. So that is why I went ahead and picked that up. And then I only had two copies of Okiku and I'm actually planning on playing green a little bit. Uh, if you guys don't know, if you guys seen my previous videos, you guys will know how high I was on Kinemon. And of course, that Kinemon focuses on the Wano package, Okiku being one of those main cards. And I only had two Okikus. So I was like, okay, well, I'm definitely going to be playing Kinemon in set two. I need to get my hands on Okikus. So I went ahead and picked those up. Uh, let me just go ahead and walk over here. I don't know if I have it. Okay, we're back. We're back. The power of editing is OP. So... We have our Eustace Kid. So I almost have my deck fully built. Oh, I don't want to show you guys the deck list yet. But I almost have my deck fully built. Um, but I was missing the Okiku. So I am going to go ahead and put those two Okikus in. And then all I'm missing is one more. Where is he? I'm missing one more 8-cost Kid. So once I'm able to have that, then I will have my Eustace Kid deck fully built and ready to go if I ever want to enter any events with it. But now, this is where I need your guys' help. So, as you guys know, I have my events coming up uh, on Saturday. And if you win, you can get a whole box. I definitely want to win. <laughs> so... With that being said, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to play. And of course, I talked to you guys about how if I could get my Bo Hancocks in time, I was going to play my Doflamingo deck. Now, here's the thing. I really, really wanted to play my Doflamingo deck, but I recently found out that they are making this tournament best of three. And you guys know how I feel about best of threes in this game. Like, I, I despise it, honestly, because... Maybe it's because I'm a blue player, but, like, even when I went to my locals yesterday, like, w one of my matches basically, like, went the entire round length, which is, I think, based on the Bandai app, like, it's 35 minutes, right? Like, and that was just one match. And I think they're trying to do best of threes in, like, 45 minutes or so something like that. Like, I, I don't know how that's going to work. So, because of that, I'm like, okay, I definitely don't want to play Crocodile. I definitely don't want to play um doflamingo because i could see those games going a little bit longer because obviously when you play doflamingo and whether you're using perona whether you're using doflamingo like you're gonna think like your order like it it's gonna take some time like you can't just autopilot and play very very quickly right like you need to think and a lot of the times with, especially with doflamingo you need to think multiple turns ahead so because of that um I'm like, okay, I can't really play blue. So I'm trying to think what would be the best color to play in a best of three format. I don't know how many rounds are going to be. I'm not sure how many people are attending. But right now, I'm actually thinking of going ahead and playing Luffy. I came up with a Luffy build that does not need shanks. Now, if it had shanks, it would be strong. It would be stronger than what it is, for sure, because shanks is a very good card. But I've come up with a build. I've tested it quite a bit, and it feels very very good. Um, it does very, very well into Kid. Um, I can stomp Kaido. So if those are the two main decks, and that's fine. I feel like I just need to play test, play test it a little bit more in the mirror. I need to play test it a little bit more against um, Zoro. Because there's probably going to be a lot of Zoros there as well. So right now, I'm leaning very heavily on Luffy. Now, I'm also leaning on Kid. Because you can't really go wrong with Kid. Um, 
Now, obviously, some people say that Kid has a bad matchup against Kaido. Um, for me, I don't think that's to be the case if you play the matchup the correct way. Um, and by that, I mean making sure that you know that 10 drop Kaido is always going to be a thing. So you have to make sure that you get Kaido to a certain threshold, yada, yada, yada. I'll have a full um, article on that coming out later um, if you guys want more details on all of that stuff on the Patreon. But I actually don't think that Kaido is as bad of a matchup for kid especially if you watch some of the japanese metagame content that's online and look at kaido versus kid matchups you'll see how a lot of the really skilled japanese players a lot of the skilled asian players in general um that were playing kid how they go up against uh kaido and it's not like it, it's definitely uh a deck that you can win there's a reason why kid was so played right um i think that kid's toughest matchup would probably be um uh, Trafalgar Law, in my opinion, Trafalgar Law is probably his dip most difficult matchup, and I don't see a lot of people piloting him um, this early on in the meta, and I don't think a lot of people are going to be piloting Trafalgar Law at this event. So because of that, that's just like my own meta call that I think that Kid could be a good option. So right now, I'm thinking between Red Luffy, Green Kid, and maybe, maybe if I really want to finally bust out these Boa Hancocks that I just got my hands on, I might play Doflamingo. What do you guys think? I, I'm going to be honest. You guys know how much I love the blue deck. I'm going to be honest. I'm probably not going to because it's best of three. I'm thinking if I play Luffy, my games can go fast. They can go quick. And if I win, that would be great. Because how the whole tournament system works, like two wins is worth more than like a win and then a tie. Because like the second game didn't finish type of thing or whatever. You guys know what I mean, right? So because of that, it's like i rather play fast play quick and try to get like two dubbies rather than like win one game and then the second game goes to time and then it's like you know we can't really get a winner and then like if i lose and it's like one one compared to getting like a 2-0 or compared to getting like a 2-1 or whatever so that's why i'm really really leaning towards luffy but then also i think that kid uh as a meta call will be a really good pick and overall i'd probably have a lot of success with him so I'm very, very curious. I'm going to be reading every single comment, every single one. Let me know your thoughts down below. And yeah, I will have a tournament report no matter how it goes, whether I come in first place, second place, whether I just go like, um, I just lose like just completely. I just like go like X3 or X4 or whatever it is. Um, and I just completely lose all of my games. Like I will still give you guys an update because I think it's important to share. I want to share with you guys my victories, but I also want to share with you guys my defeats. So with that being said, those are the cards that I picked up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I really hope you all can help me out. I'm going to be reading those comments. I'm going to be reading those comments. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, share it with a friend, all that good stuff. Join the Saber of Zebek. Join my crew, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.